The car sat in water for a week at the Ionia Fairgrounds. But today, the people running the recovery operation say they're surprised at how many are being driven away. 24 Hour News 8's Henry Erb was there today as people figured uh, just what to do with their cars. They've been hauling these cars off the fairgrounds floodplain since Saturday. This is where the owners have been picking them up. Today we learned that of the thousand cars which sat in the flooded parking lot for a week, 25% were driving away under their own power. But what about the other 75%? Some, no doubt, were like Roger Newell's Ford Expedition. He wasn't driving it. He had it on a trailer. But that's more of a precaution. It does run. Um, it's salvageable, so we're going to take it in and get the fluids changed, and we'll be able to get back on the road. We saw cars without license plates being hauled off on flatbeds, cars totaled out by insurance companies. That might have happened to Jason Hansen's Chevy Tahoe, when Hansen had an adjuster look at it, he was worried that the car's electrical system was ruined. And that's why most of the insurance companies out here, if water hits the interior, we're total, total them out, yeah. Hansen said his Tahoe had a foot and a half of water inside. I know it's not what you want to hear if I owned it. I wouldn't even try putting it back on the road. But there won't be an insurance check for Hansen. He says he didn't have comprehensive coverage, so the flood damage isn't covered. Yeah, I'm going to try to clean it up and, you know, drive as long as I can. They expect to have all 1,000 cars towed off the floodplain and relocated here at the staging area later on today. They will finish reuniting owners with their cars later this week. In Ionia, Henry Erb, 24-Hour News 8.